What's up, y'all? Welcome back to The Clutch. I'm here with Ryan McVeigh of Vip Tech. Ryan, what is the biggest thing that you would like to see change in the industry? I want to see the reptile community and the hobby turn into salt water. I want, them, I want the stick, that the idea that salt water has. So if you want to start a salt water tank, anybody who's ever thought like, I want a salt water tank, you're scared out of your mind about it. Like, oh, I need to do research. It's super technical. It's really hard. There's this stigma around it that you need to learn. And we didn't do that in the hobby. We went, it's easy and everybody can do it. Here's a box with some stuff in it. You'd go home and read this one page and you're good. And we're, it's caused a lot of issues. It's caused a lot of problems that we're fighting with US Arc and ethics and care issues and it's constantly building a fight where if we would've went to the saltwater side, like they're fighting for sustainability in the wild and things like that, but they're not fighting to keep saltwater as pets. Right. At the same time, they're not dealing with as much stuff as we do. And they, they took the time to do the husbandry and really focus on the products and creating a better environment and people putting money and time into it. And we just made it so it's easy, anybody can do it, take it and go. And I, I would like to see that other way. I'd like to, everybody should do it. I don't think it would stop people from wanting to get involved, but at least that would be that moment where you're like, you know what, maybe I don't know everything right now. Maybe that kit, I need to know more. But in the industry right now, in a, in a new person's buying experience, there isn't a trigger for them to learn more. So everybody who says, people need to do more research before they get an animal. Do you do research before you go buy everything that you go get at Walmart or anything else? You don't, and that we've created the American buying experience where it's the same thing with an animal. That same feeling happens when you go purchase your first pet. And then you get a kit that says complete bearded dragon kit. And then you get by somebody, you get handed a bearded dragon. And then you get handed a pamphlet that's how to take care of it. You're being handed all of this information and you're getting this feeling of like, I got this, I have everything I need. This literally says complete kit. Like you can't miss. You can't mistake those words for other things. Complete. That means I have everything. And but the and they don't understand what those components are and why that's complete. And there's a big problem with all that missing in that. So I'd love to see the reptile hobby turn into saltwater. I want to see somebody spend. Dude, I spent 50 grand on this enclosure and I put an anole in it because I've seen tanks where they spent 50 grand on tanks and lighting and they have damsels. Like, but that's cool. And people, you sit back and you look at it. Oh my God. It's incredible, and we respect those people for that dedication and time. And I want to see that happen in the hobby. I want to see people that dedicate their time and effort to advancing husbandry and, and really doing the best they can by the animals and coming out with new ways to help these animals like really thrive and mentally and emotionally thrive too, not just be alive. The standard for care should not be not dead. It needs to be thriving and growing and interacting. And like that's something cool I was talking about the lights a little bit ago. It was like I've been able because of the UVA this gives off. I've been able to see a ton of natural behavior of the animals I've never seen in captivity. It's the coolest thing ever. Like, the lights are cool. Yeah, they're great. It's my company, whatever. It's a light. Oh, yeah. But no, seeing them actually perform natural, instinctual behaviors in captivity that I've never seen except for under wild, in the wild on natural sunlight. Man, it's super cool. And that's, that's the experiences I think people need. We need to start looking at those animals and like, enjoying the experience of what they are and how they live and what they bring to our life by being able to appreciate them. And then everybody needs to wake up and appreciate it because that is not a right that we have. And it is under attack every single day in every state in the United States. And if we, like, look, we either start doing something and we start thinking about how we can do this better or we just start giving up. So if you're not gonna be a part of US Arc, if you're not gonna donate to them and be a member, then sell your stuff. Like, I'm one of the few people, like, I'll just blatantly say it. If you're not a member at US Arc, I really don't have time for you. Because if you make your living off of a hobby that's being attacked constantly, but you're not even giving back a tiny little bit to save that endeavor for yourself and save that passion for yourself, then you don't really care. Amen. Hey, tell you. Appreciate your time, brother. Love you. Always. Okay, we'll go back to mom. I don't want you to freak out. <laughs> All right, we have a famous uh, artist and photographer and author and I think that's why a ball up. python maker. Yeah. And all right, Miss Brittany Gobble came all the way from Tennessee to visit us in Texas. Uh, Brittany, what's one thing in the industry that you would like to see improved? 
Um, I would like to see the community just be more uplifting to each other more supportive. Um, I, now I've had a lot of support but you know we have a lot of new people always coming in and then we have you know it's such we do have a good community. I just think that sometimes we could do just a little better about being kind to each other and remembering teasing and stuff is fun but let's be kind. I think that's a very good point. All right, I'm here with Chris of Sea Serpents. What's one thing you'd like to see <laughs> different in the industry, brother? Uh, what I'd like to see different in the industry right now is uh, everybody working together instead of bad mouthing, uh, drama, leave all that stuff at home. Uh, we have a lot of stuff going on with supply chain issues and everything like that. We need patience, we need to work together. Everybody, I don't care if you're a rack builder, I don't care if you're a snake breeder, we need to work together. We can all get much, much further working together than we can against each other, so shut your mouth. Do your job and do it right. Just do what you say you're going to do. Plain and simple, people. It's not that hard. I have the Hotbox Incubator. I actually owe this guy a review of that. One of these days, I'll. Well, one of these days. Person. You know? Do your fucking job, right? There you go. Pretty All simple. Right, Chris, appreciate Thanks, you, buddy. brother. All right, y'all. I'm here with Phil Goss, the president of US Art. Phil, what's one thing that you would like to see change in the industry? So one thing I would love to see change is just before you take any animal home, just research it and make sure you know what you're getting into. Certainly with any pet, whether it's dog, cat, fish, bird, reptile, amphibian. Again, just know what you're getting into. Be ready for it. Do your research before you get the animal. Don't come to a reptile show or go to a pet shop and take something home just because it's small and cute. Especially some species like maybe a tegu lizard. And you know, realize how big they're going to get and be ready for them. And again, just be responsible because U.S. Arc, I always highlight, we represent responsible animal owners and keepers. And if you're doing it wrong, U.S. Arc is not going to watch out for you. So do it right and make the entire community look good. Yep. Appreciate awesome. that, brother. Thanks, John. I'm here with John Lehman, who is the founder of Morph Market. John, what do you want to see as one change in the industry? Well, I love what John and Antoine did this last weekend when they went toe to toe and did the grappling match for uh, raising the awareness about US Arc. So I would just say, like, I'd love to see more of that kind of creativity. People just getting out there with their idea and trying to push the hobby forward. So nice job on that. Thank you. It's too blurry, it's a it flows. Thing. Yeah. I think, yeah. Yeah. Like, they, they're very inquisitive when they see another snake. She's freaking gorgeous. Is this one of the ones you paired last year? Yeah, she's, she's uh, in 2019, so she's not big enough to pair yet. These guys get big. I'm with Miss Corey Martin of Corey Martin Reptiles. What's one thing that you would like to see changed in the industry? So I'm gonna say I think uh, more focus on captive bred uh, and fewer disposable imports. I like that. Yeah. I'm here with Maria Maticola of Endbringer Exotics. <laughs> okay, redo. Take two. Uh, I'm here with Maria Maticola of Endbringer Exotics, and I have one quick question for you. What's something that you'd like to see change in the industry? Well, that's hard. Um, just being nicer to new people. We all started out somewhere. I'm here with <laughs> God damn it. All the blue girls. Oh, I want to 
Oh, I want to kiss you so bad. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm here with Heidi from Southern Star Reptiles, the best part of Southern Star Reptiles. I would like to know what's one thing you'd like to see change in the industry? We need more hot guys in the industry. Work on it, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Do better. Do better. Do better. <laughs> I'm with Jack, the other half of Southern Star yeah. Reptiles. Brother, what's one thing that you would like to see changed in the industry? Changed in the industry. What a cool direction to take that. Uh, I need more bearded guys. More bearded guys? Yeah, I think I can work with you. I'm here with Chris of Snake and Stein <laughs> Reptiles. Brother, what's one thing that you would like to see changed in the industry? It's a serious question, but it's only one question. That's the problem. Yeah. Uh huh. Transparency. People being more transparent. I like that. Especially with what you just had to happen, that's yep. huge. Yep. Um, being honest and open with everybody. Don't don't hide stuff under the rugs. Oh yeah. Love you, bro. Love you, man.